welcome. Welcome back to Artistic Life. So we're doing a part three today because we're breaking this up for YouTube with each route so I can just post each route. We're doing Hato Full Boyfriend. This is our this is our third run. Okay. If you want to see things, you can go do look at the first run. Um, because I'm skipping things based on what we've already seen. Anyway, we're gonna romance Nanaki this time. Let's do it. Let's see. Is Nanaki just as sad or sadder as Nagaki and Ryota? Um, not sure, but we're gonna find out. Okay, here we go. New game. It's Nanaki time. Yes, we enter our name. <clears throat> oh, I had caps lock on. Can I change the title? No one told me this game was so sad. I had no idea. Um, yes. Karen Terry is okay. Okay. Yes, I want to display the human. <clears throat> okay, let's fast forward. Nanaki's route, we're going to do student council and math classes. We've already done all the math classes. Um, we did straight math classes in Nageki's route. So, yeah. Yep, so we're gonna. This is Nageki's little introduction. But we already did his route, so we're good with that. Yep, Nageki. So sad. And this is the brothers. We've seen this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> what is this one? Is this the doctor? Yeah, this is the doctor introduction. Nope, we don't need. We got that. We're good. Good creeper doctor. Okay, this is San Okosan's introduction. We're good with that. Okay. Uh, I think we want to choose the class council today. You all know the school doesn't require you to join any club. You want to join, but if you don't, you're free to go home after school. Ooh. <sighs> That's good. What about you, Shrew? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right. You became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism ho! Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. You have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. We're gonna join the... Student Council this time. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun. <clears throat> Today's elective day. We're gonna attend math. And we've already seen all the math classes. Get right past it. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does the council do again? We skipped the vote, and I think it's only Sakuya and me. Anyway, he called a meeting, so to the council room I go. This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally. Do you think I would stand for anything less? Hi, Sakuya. Do you have this done? <laughs> This room used to be filthy. Better suited to rabbits than to us. What a prig. Have you decided which position you'll take? I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you, Tom Japanese? Aren't you Japanese too, Sakuya? Do not mock me. I am French. A French noble bird? That sounds delicious. <laughs> I guess I have to pick a pose now. I think I'll be the... Uh, vice president, treasurer, or clerk. Oh, okay, so we're supposed to be clerk for Nanaki. You came here to take a job like that? Unacceptable. Where's your ambition? Are you testing yourself? You've got more backbone than that. And then vice president? Very well. And so I was inflicted with the vice presidency. Holy shit, I guess I didn't really get a choice. Isn't there any birdie else on the council? Is Is there? Nobody, it's just us. I guess that's why I'm vice president. Ah, sitting at home is so relaxing. Oh, tomorrow's the class hike. Oh, okay. We already, we know about this. 
So we're going to talk to um, Kazu. That's not a choice. Hi. Is it a typo? Kazu Kai someone else? Kazu Kai. Just scrolling through the different characters to make sure. It's just, I think it's just a typo. Be just a nickname. He's asleep, right? Yeah, okay. Kazuaki. It's Kazuyaki Nanaki. Kazuaki. Okay. Yeah, we already saw this. Because <clears throat> we chose him last time. Today's an elective day. What should I do? We're going to attend math again. And you're well aware, but the sports festival is right around the field. Okay, we do know this. And we're supposed to choose the three legged race again for him. Today's the sports festival. Yes. We have seen this. We're going to do three legged race again. Yep. Want to run together? I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Oh, we didn't get another choice. Okay, so if we do the three legged race, that's what happens. Okay. Midterms. Harry. Yes. You worked hard. Keep going like that and you'll do just fine. One day you could surpass me. I'd love to see that. I guess I did pretty well after all. So yeah, I guess if you take math, that's just what happens with the midterms. And Mr. Nanaki seems happy with me too. <clears throat> right, today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Okay, we're gonna go to the infirmary. Have we done infirmary yet? Yeah, we did it last time. Yeah, we did infirmary last time. We got kicked out. <laughs> are you ill? Um, not exactly. Then why are you here? I came here to... Okay, what do we came... Oh, we came here to skip class again. Okay, so he's gonna kick us out. <laughs> I wanted to skip class. Get out! <laughs> Today's an elective day. What should I do? We're going to attend math again. <clears throat> yep. Today's Tanabata. Okay. Yep, Bamboo Festival. Let's see what the card says today. M May mother stay healthy. Oh, it's Ryota. So I guess that um, Nanaki doesn't have one. Oh. Yeah, oh no, this one is Nanaki. Hmm. Wednesday is garbage day, remember? What should I wish for? Okay, I should wish for... For him, I should rule the world from the shadows. Okay. Just like before. Okay, so this is where it's different. Um, we have to go home with him, I'm pretty sure. Oh, hello. Is that you, Terry? Mr. Nanaki. You should be careful out this late. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know? I was about to head home. Would you like me to walk with you to your place? Um... Okay, so we're gonna say, yes, please. Yes, teacher, let's do that. <laughs> yes, please. All right. Mr. Nanaki demonstrated some extreme sleeping on the way home, but we arrived eventually. <laughs> extreme sleeping. Oh my God, he's in my house. Your house is very rustic. I like it this way. It's wonderful of a place to come back to, isn't it? Wonderful indeed. He looks a little sad. Um, sir? See you tomorrow. Don't forget your homework. And so he left, a somewhat hollow-sounding farewell echoing behind him. Or was it just my imagination? Hmm. Today is an elective day. Okay, we're gonna do math again. We got more wisdom. Get our finals back today. Not sure if I did too well. Terry. Sir. Well done. You've gotten even better. Keep up the good work. Yes, sir. Success. So I guess math is the key to doing good on your midterms and finals in this game. 
Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long and sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Sakuya said to help him clean the council room before I go home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late. I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakuya. Let's get cleaning. Very well. First, move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the window... Hold on. Are you telling me to do all of this by myself? Who else is there? You bonehead! Maybe I should stand up to him. Okay, um, this is 7.20. We should do... Never mind. Okay. Oh, uh, well, all right. You can sit there and tell me what to do. Excellent. And so the council room was polished until it shone with the light of a thousand suns, just as planned. Ugh, I went along with him. I guess maybe when we do his route, I'm supposed to stand up to him. We'll find out, I guess. <clears throat> it's easy to fall out of practice and get fat. Okay, we've read this. Yeah, we're going to go running. So this is... What date are we on today? <clears throat> this is that lady. That ladybird. Little sparrow. Uh, 722. Yeah, there's nothing for 722 for this route. We're going to skip it. Welcome back, Luna. Did you know this game is incredibly depressing? I didn't know that. We're learning that together. We're going to find out if the teacher's route is also very sad. That's the route we're doing right now. <clears throat> it's a long time until the semester starts, and I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I will... Let's see, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to forget it. We're not going to get a job for his route. Here we go. Mm, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures and go to work. Yep, slacking off and having fun is more of a high schooler thing to do. Whee! Okay, today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Invite! Okay, we're going to invite Kazuki. Kazuki. We can invite lots of people to a festival. Good evening, Terry. Such nice weather. Anyway, you needed something? Um, sir, today's the summer festival. Want to go together? The two of us? I wouldn't mind, but wouldn't it be more fun with someone your own age? I think it will be plenty of fun with you, sir. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the first time I've been to the festival here. It's very lively. I feel a little dizzy. You okay, sir? I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm just not used to crowds. Ah, oh, fireworks, how nice. Have you studied redox color reactions, Terry? Oh yes, in middle school. Copper turns green and sodium turns red and that sort of thing. No, no, sodium turns yellow, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, that's how fireworks work. Mm, so beautiful. Through her eyes are even more beautiful, sir. He fell asleep. <laughs> he held up pretty well, but I guess he gets even sleepier than usual as soon as the sun goes down. And besides, I think the girl is supposed to get told she's prettier than the knight, not the man. See? <clears throat> oh, I knew I shouldn't should have gotten up when I first woke up. Okay, anyway, this is the sleeping late one. Now, I think we're finally going to help him. Yeah, we're going to help Mr. Nanaki. You will? Thank you. I'll go make us some tea. And so I spent the morning grading tests in the air-conditioned staff room like a proper little lady. This tea is very good. It has mango in it. I do like sweet tea. <clears throat> um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Ooh. Okasan's always having fun. Yep, yep. What is this fun? Is there anything on 9-1? There's nothing on 9-1. Not till we can skip this. We've already seen this thing. Yeah. Not until in 7 that we have anything else. We're gonna attend math. Yep. We've seen this scene. Yay. 
Okay, and this is the feather scene. We've seen this. Okay, school festival. School festival. Okay, so I guess if we're not doing his route, he doesn't come and make us be a maid for that. So many things to do. I can't choose. Okay, this is new. Hmm. Oh, Terry. Mr. Nanaki, what is it? Your shift is tomorrow, right? Yep. Could you maybe help at the reception desk? We're getting a lot more people than we expected. Of course. I shall met out information and directions like an oni of old, clever in hand, seated atop a throne, wrought from the skulls of my foes. Thank you. I'll get a chair. Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, it looks like the crowd is thinning out a little. That was tiring. Are you okay, sir? I'm fine, just a little... <laughs> At least he held up pretty well until now. It's almost time to clear up and prepare for classes tomorrow. So I spent the last hours of the festival nervously watching Mr. Nanaki sleep, slipping ever lower into his chair. Okay. Ah. Uh. I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Is Mr. Nanaki still in the staff room? Uh-oh. Excuse me, huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. I Iwamine, I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing peculiar about these numbers. Nothing at all. There's a statistical deviation visible in the data on students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but it would seem I have overestimated you. Really? Sorry, I couldn't help then. I'll um, side with Mr. Nanaki, obviously. Side with Kazuakai. That's not very nice, Doctor. What do you want? Hello, Terry. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. So you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher, like pupil. Wow. What a rude doctor. Ah, today was good. The true, real life. I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time before going to bed. Karen. Hey, Ryuta. You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yes, but why do you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you could catch up to him before he gets home. I could take it to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go home. So I was wondering if maybe you could. Sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank you. Mr. Nanaki's phone, now that I think about it, I don't know anything about his personal life. Is he always as spacey as he is at school? He probably spends 97% of his time at home asleep. Mmm, a piece of paper fell out of his phone case. What's this? It's a photo. A photo of a bird, but I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. What? Did Mr. Nanaki do this? He doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put it back in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see it. Creepy. Sir? Oh, hello, Terry. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone. So I did. Thank you for coming after me with it, Terry. That was very nice of you. No problem at all, sir. Um, hmm? Is there something else? What should I do? I should definitely ask about the photo. Yeah, ask about the photo. Sir, I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look inside, but something fell out. Fell out? Um, this picture, I... Ah, yes, that. Don't worry about it. After all, it's not something you need to worry about, right? I'm curious. It was... Almost completely marked out. I marked it out. He did? I never would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so. Well, see you tomorrow. And so he left, with a farewell as carefree as if we'd just been talking about the weather. He has a side I've never seen, doesn't he? Ah, it's that time of year when the chilly outside gradually breaks down my soul. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time to go home. Where's my phone? 
I remember looking at Daily Portal Z during break, so I can't have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there? The door. It's open. Good. Oh, so there are other classes. We just don't play that part out. So that's why it's called elective. Okay, I understand now. There it is. Sitting right on the bench I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely? Come on, let's head home. <laughs> I talk into my phone. That's funny. Ah, I bumped into... Doctor? You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? N no, I... What is he even doing here? He came out of chemistry prep room, right? Alone, after school, in the lab. What were you doing? Um, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Huh? I'm asking if you saw anything. What? What are you... What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Very well. May I ask a favor of you, Miss Terry? Uh, yeah, what is it? Could you bring me the files from the prep room? The black ones, on the desk. Isn't this the prep room? Right here. They are somewhat heavy for me, but I am sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? No, sir. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just do as he says. Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. Are we going to figure out a mystery, you guys? Wait! I'm locked in. Doctor! Doctor, let me out! What are you doing? Let me out! Brute! Villain! Fluffy heretic! No reply. The building's going to be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Ugh, somebody help me! The doctor locked me in here! Why did he do that? There's no reason to unless he, he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. This must be his way of shutting me up or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair. The evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I could make it out of the window, but I have to get out of here quickly. How can I... Steps. Coming closer. I have to hide. I have to hide, but there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't... What are you doing in here, Terry? School is closed already. <sighs> Mr. Nanaki, I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you- Oh, this is his line. I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging the door, Terry? That's not good. This door isn't a punching bag. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear. Angels, I'm alive. Whew. <sighs> he saved me. Sir, I... There's some dangerous things in here, so don't come in without asking, okay? I didn't... I didn't come in of my own accord. The doctor... That's right. I asked her to. You did? Indeed. I am truly sorry. I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and locked her in and walked off. She locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you? Clive Waring? <laughs> Is that it? Well, then... This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Terry. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all this happened. Well then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plan. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow, so don't forget the printout from earlier today. The doctor's fucking suspicious. Fucking suspicious. Terry is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though, she may be a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself now. Goodbye. Doctor? Yeah? Like, yes? That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Busquet. Oh, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> what? Accidents like that happen to everyone. And you remembered to come let her out in the end. Don't worry about it. What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? Okay. Well, at least this one's not sad so far. It's just really mysterious. Yes. Thank you, Professor. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
We get our finals back today between midterms and practice exams. This whole semester has been nothing but tests. Harry, sir, you ranked top of the year this time. Well done. But what? She beat you by two points, Shogunate. Oh, well. <sighs> Saki is glaring daggers at me again. How nostalgic. Anyway, my hard work paid off. The sun. Okay. I think this is one we have seen. Yeah. First day of the new year. Um, oh, we do have a thing today. Okay. One, one does have a thing. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit the shrine. There's a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have a warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Okay. We have seen this, but I think because it's important for this interaction, we're going to, we're going to do it. We are supposed to choose fulfillment in school again, but let's read it. Karen! Huh? Happy New Year! There's the many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Rota? Exactly what it looks like. I'm working here today and tomorrow. Oh, it looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which would you like? Um, I'd like one for... We're gonna choose fulfillment in school. There you go. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, this is my line. Thanks, Ryota. Are you here all day today? Yep, the first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was gonna ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but sorry, Karen, maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryota. Mm, Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Terry. Happy New Year. Did you get a fortune, sir? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Mm, which should I take? This one. Bork's Blessing. Oh, we got a different blessing this time. Bork's Blessing. Okay. Good, you got one better than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Terry. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone. I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated. We can fast forward this. It's not different. Third term. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, we know this one too. And for him, we're supposed to get country millet. Okay, so just like we did for the previous boy. I'll take these. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to that special sun birdie. Sir, Mr. Nanaki. Hello, Terry. What is it? Um, today is Legulamentines, so I wanted to give you beans. Wanted to give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? Don't you have someone else? No, sir. I want to give them to you, sir. I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure what to get, but... Um, millet seeds. I like them very much. I've enjoyed them for a long time. They bring back good memories. Mmm, such a nice, gentle smell. Sir, they do smell nice, but please don't fall asleep. Oh. Uh, are you really sure you want to give me these? Yes, sir. A hunter-gatherer never goes back on her word. Thank you, then. I mm. wonder what I should give you in exchange. I'll have to think about it. And so he wandered off towards the staff room, a gentle smile on his face. I'm glad he liked them. The semester is almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. But there's one thing I have left to do first, one thing I need to do. What is that going to be? Oh, ending of Mr. Koski. Hello, Terry. Oh, this is his line. Hello, Terry. What is it? Asking to meet outside is a little odd. If this is about your career plan, don't worry. You're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. No, sir. I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. Sir, I like you. Is that, is that all right? You say the strangest things, Terry. I like you too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I didn't mean it like that. Hmm? Listen, I am no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, Terry. I'm sorry. No longer able to love another creature? What does he mean? You saw it, remember? You saw what, sir? The photo. Yes, sir. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. 
I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. That was a photo of the most important bird in my life. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to come in between. I thought we could live through anything. Just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than anybody else in the world. But one day I looked around. So alone. Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. Never forget, never forget our life, our promises, but I'm not sure how to say this. I looked at the photo every day and I realized I couldn't tell anymore. I couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face or if I felt hatred. I, I think I'm losing someone, I think losing someone dear is painful for everyone. After a while, I couldn't pretend to see it and so you right. Even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. See now, right? I don't want to love again. Now, love I felt is soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto one person, I think it's better to love everyone around you. Just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's too sad. You don't agree, Terry. I love your kindness, sir, but I see that kindness bringing you pain to wonder if there isn't a better way. Uh, I wonder. Way. There's one more thing I should tell you. Hmm? What up? It's gone now. Burned it. Huh? I saw it. It made me think about things again. I would never have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So, as I looked at the photo, I thought, Way. I burned it, sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not a photo covered in scribbles. Oh. Terry, just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it, but I understand you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an idea, Terry. I will be waiting here at this school forever. After you've grown up a little, you still feel the same way. I'll be here for you. Sir, that's... I don't make... I don't like to make out of promises, but I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, Terry. So let's wait until then. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, they didn't actually do a teacher-student. Wow. I chickened out. Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here, that will be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't know what I will feel or what he will feel. But right now, I'm truly happy. Wow. I don't, I guess I'm a little surprised they didn't go full student teacher in this game, but still was pretty sad. His story wasn't as sad as the other two, but it was still pretty sad. <clears throat> Ending eight, what may come. This was a pretty short one. I'm just scrolling through the others to see if there's another, like, maybe short. Oh, some of them have two character endings, apparently. Okay. Well, that's his route. All right, so we'll stop the recording here for YouTube. So for those watching the, the YouTube video, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.